Hi everybody! We're doing a little bit of a different kind of review, and that's a commission review. Normally I do these as, as a full, like, reading blog, but I was looking at the footage and decided this is boring, <laughs> so we're just gonna talk about the books here. Um, I was commissioned to read the entirety of this series, uh, and this is the Brady Von Althus series by Tycho Dwellis. Um, and this is, well, we've got to be backwards here. We have book one. I already read book one many years ago. Many years ago, like a year? Was it a year ago? A year or two ago? Uh, and I read this in an airport waiting for my plane. They are very fast reads. So it's like, oh, they commissioned me to read an entire series. Oh, it wasn't that bad of a problem because they're all very, very short and very quick reads and very enjoyable. Uh, so the premise of Brady Von Althus is kind of Adam's Family-esque, except we have very normal child who lives with a very abnormal family. He and his mom are the only two normal humans in the family. So his father is a bar guest, which is a type of demon, and his uncle is a poltergeist, his aunt is a swamp witch, his cousin has a block for a head that he can turn depending on his mood, and then his grandmother is a puppet, also a fae, but a puppet who has a helper to get her around everywhere. And that's the main family. We do meet other characters as we go along, and but that's, that's the core. So this was super fun. It's super cute and wholesome. I highly, highly recommend these. Um, in the first book, we kind of meet everybody. Each book kind of revolves around Brady and a family member. So the first book is Brady and his dad, because Brady you know, he's a little kid, he wants his dad, you know, he wants to be able to bring his dad to school for certain nights, you know, for him to go to a parent-teacher conference and stuff, but obviously they're keeping the secret of his family that he can't just come because he has a fireball for a head, and that's kind of out of the ordinary um, in some states. Um, <laughs> he misses having his dad around and being able to, he's kind of struggling with that, all the while his dad is also struggling with something a little sinister, and we deal with a lot of things. So this is the pesky pest controller is the first book, and there is someone kind of snooping around looking for somewhat paranormal things. Um, that's the first book. It also introduces his best friend Kara, who is awesome and I believe was born with a deformity. She doesn't have um, half, like her arm ends at her elbow and it's just awesome and still and does gymnastics and stuff and I thought she was a very positive representation for those with disabilities and I really really enjoyed that. Um, I think she's just a really cool character. I do wish throughout the rest of the series that Kara was a little bit more prominent. She was the most prominent in this book um, and then kind of fades a little bit into the, ba the background but I get why because the family literally moves to Ukraine at one point. Um, so, <laughs> you know, can't quite take your neighbor friend with you, but I, I did think she was a really great supporting character in this. Um, but the commissions itself were for these babies. So we have the second book, which was Brady Von Althus and the Gullible Ghost Hunter. So this centers more around Brady and his uncle Rolo, who is just the most chaotic poltergeist guy out there. He's so funny. He used to be in like a Russian mafia gang. And so even though he's you know, a member of this family. He pretends to have an accent. Um, he doesn't. Um, but he, he, like, his demise was because of this, but he is also trapped in the house by uh, Grandma because he owes her, like, a small amount of money, and until he repays her, he can never leave, and no one's allowed to just give him the money. He has to earn it for himself, but how can you earn money as a ghost? You can't. That's the trick. So um, <laughs> we do have an interesting time with more fun characters that come in. We learn a lot about Rolo's past and, you know, just <laughs> what it means to really be a ghost and what the relationship, uncle and nephew relationship. It's a good fun time there. Then we have, personally, I think this might be my favorite, and that is Brady Von Althus and the Dastardly Jin. So this is about Brady and his cousin Blockhead. Um, I adore Blockhead so much. Blockhead is probably my favorite of the entire Von Althus family. Uh, he's also a kind of YouTuber, streamer, who does book and movie and, and event reviews and stuff, and it's great, and I love him so much. And they meet a Jin on accident, who then 
basically restores Blockhead to his human form. And this one has this great message about accepting yourself for who you are and not changing yourself for others, um, because those others usually are using you and they don't actually love you for you. So this had, I feel like, probably the strongest message that connected with me personally. So I super, super enjoyed this book a lot. Then we move on to Brady Von Elphis and Wrong Book and the Changeling Children, which centers around Brady and his aunt. This, I think, is the heaviest of the books because this deals with a lot of trauma between mother and child and it was it was very very heavy i will say this is a very very heavy 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 book um they are they have moved to ukraine in this one because grandma is missing and so they're trying to find her and they think she went back to the fae and to in order to kind of be closer to her so whenever she's ready to come home um they're gonna be ready in this area. Um, but we end up meeting kind of a fairy king in this who was also once in love with Aunt Liz and there's a reason she has Swamp Witch powers and there are changeling children and a very tragic backstory for Aunt Liz. Like of all of the Von Althus family, Aunt Liz really had it the worst I think in terms of backstory and all the things that she's gone through and despite that she's still a great aunt and a great mom to Blockhead and Blockhead as well. Blockhead had serious trauma as well I will say um, but so the two of them together actually work very very well together uh, but this one is probably the heaviest of them that I think. Then we finally get to the final fight and this centers more so on everybody, but it's kind of like grandma's book. Not really grandma's book, but it's involving grandma's influence on the family. This one touches, I think, a lot on like generational trauma and just has overall a really great message for Brady. I think he has the most growth here, obviously. Um, he's always kind of the voice of reason in the family. And again, there's it's there's something about these books in that they are a middle grade, but they touch on heavier topics that I think are still done in a very appropriate way for younger readers to help process, like if those kids themselves are going through this or have friends who are going through this or just, you know, couldn't imagine going through this. It, it will help build children's empathy. And I think that's the strongest point about these is about building empathy, building understanding and building confidence in oneself. So in essence, I highly, highly recommend this series. I recommend a lot of Tycho's books. I mean, all of them really. Uh, I, I haven't read a book I disliked from Tycho yet. So there's your challenge, Tycho. Write me a book I'll hate from you. <laughs> I think they're very easy reads. Anyone of any age can enjoy these. Obviously, I'm in my 30s and I just read all these middle grades and I think they were absolutely fantastic and still had messages that anyone of any age might need to hear at some point. And I highly recommend if you do have kids or have, you know, neighbors or, or nephews and, and nieces and nibblings, all of them, uh, that you will be able to give them a good book series that they will enjoy, that they can latch on to these characters and really have a fun time. I'm kind of sad that I didn't have this when I was a kid because I probably would have been obsessed and probably would have written a lot of blockhead fan fiction as a kid probably would have done that. Not, not gonna lie. <laughs> that was the type of kid I was. If I, as a child, latched onto a character, guaranteed, and I wouldn't necessarily write the fan fiction, but I would definitely play act it in my head about me and this person that I have attached myself to going off on adventures. Just ask my mom about me and my Jack Wilde face from HR Puff and stuff. I had a face. Um, anyway... <laughs> So that's Brady Von Althus. Uh, it's a five book complete series, so you don't have to worry about more books coming out. Although I do hope for more later. Maybe there's been talk of a, a book featuring one of these characters, but like separate from the Brady, it would be more of an, a YA or an adult book. I'm not quite sure, but please get it done faster, Tycho. So highly recommend 
thank you for the commission. I really, really appreciate it. If you are interested in me also reading a book right here, right now, you can commission me on my Kofi page. Link is in the description. The whatever you commission immediately goes on to my TBR. I've been a little backed up because things have been crazy, but I'm trying to get back on my feet about them. So you can commission at any time and I will read it. Otherwise, if you're like, you don't have to read this now, but eventually put it in my viewer pool. Also a link in the description for that. It's just a Google form that you throw a book in there and I put it in my viewer pool and it might come up during my TBR game. So those are the ways you can get me to read books. You can also book fairy me and just send me a book in my Amazon wish list. You can do that and all the other ways you can support me. Everything is linked on the Kofi. If you want to buy my books, they're also there and all the fun stuff. And if you want to support Paul, you can also visit his wish list. Okay. Uh, that is all for now. I'm going to go now. Bye.